hi everyone this is chiso mobile and welcome us to the tutorial today so in today's tutorial we're going to learn how to create this kind of design it's a simple design but then i'm going to walk you through how i created it because looking at it alone you might feel you know exactly what i did but um the thing is i you actually are not going to get it exactly the way i did it until you fully watch the tutorial okay so before we continue please subscribe to my youtube channel okay i'll be dropping videos on how to use pdl lab for crazy designs um after this one okay so please hit the subscribe button so let's proceed um let's start again from the very beginning so we're going to go to default and then we clear this so this is the color we are going to be using here this is the color okay or oh, this rather so this is the color code in case you want to use the color code this is the color code here copy so if, if you don't know how to add a color code um if you know the color code you're working with you can just click on plus here and then click here click here when you click here you see this color code you paste the, the maybe you want to use a different color or maybe okay let me start from the beginning again so let's say we have this color and then we want to add that red color so we go to color code here and then we enter this one we insert this color code then we click here okay when you click here then you okay it and okay it equally and then we have the color we want to use now so that is it then we have to add a flay effect i normally use it for most of my design so you click here and click on stickers here and click out okay let me show you again when you click on stickers here and you click and you okay it the sticker disappears immediately or the flay effect disappears immediately so when you click here you just go ahead and click on the background and then it disappears then you can increase the size of the flay effect and go to color enable your color then you're going to use a default yellow color so this is it here you're going to increase the size and bring it here increase the size again and bring it to this end copy and bring it here copy again and take it to this other end okay all right so we can go ahead to we can go to the layer panel which is here and then lock all of them all right when you're done with that you you go to import here i'm going to drop all the all the resources i use i'm going to drop them on the description okay so i'm going to drop the link for you to download them on the description below okay so this is what i'm going to use now and you click here to get an exact square and okay it then you can increase the size a bit then you come over and reduce your opacity to maybe 35 then you go ahead and okay it or lock it rather lock it rather when you lock it then you come to contrast you come to brightness and reduce the brightness a bit and then increase the contrast okay we want to achieve a kind of blending effect so reduce the brightness and increase the contrast so when you are done with that okay okay let's go again yeah exactly exactly then we can come over and reduce the capacity a bit more then we come to you go to this background editing the contrast here you increase the contrast you increase it to about 65 all right okay we've gotten the background now so we can go ahead and add okay let's let's just leave vignet so when you've gotten this you can bring in the image you want to use okay 
the image is far away so let's look for it okay so this is the image here so you can bring it in here so when you bring it in you go to draw here increase your paint size and increase the blur reduce to the highest then you just um, just touch your screen or the canvas all right so when you do that you stretch it you want to create a kind of shadow then you can keep it here see you move it to the back but then when you move it you know we st we have a background here so when you move it to the back when you click here now it goes to the back like the background i don't know if you get it goes to the back of the actual background this background that we have here so um we are not going to do that so to the front then we just move it down a bit okay then you can reduce your opacity here I think 35 is good enough so just go with 35 Why? then you you um okay then since we've added the shadow we can go ahead and start adding our text so you click on text here you change the text to you Okay, or rather, thank you, thank. Let's just thank for now. So the font we're going to use is called Mont font. Mont. So I'm going to, I'm going to send us the font. I'm going to send us a link to download the font. Okay, Mont Black. Okay, so that's the font we're going to use. And then we are taking it to the back of the lady. When you click here, I don't know if you know how to take to the back. When you click on this eight line, eight dots that you have here, when you click on it, you just drag it back. All right, thank. You. Okay. And then we copy it again and bring it here. You. Thank you. So the size of this one should be large. Alright, so thank you. So we want to make sure that um, the sizes of the text are the same thing as the initial design we wanted to recreate. So we are going to we're gonna have to import the the initial design and take it to the background. They want to make sure the size is the same thing. So, for the thank you, apparently it's bigger. The one we are working with is bigger. So, we can slightly reduce the size. So that it matches the one in the background. Okay, and we've gotten that. This one too. We do the same thing. And then this image here. You can go ahead and delete it. You just want to make sure that it's the same size as the one we are recreating. Okay, so we've got them exactly what we want. Then we can go ahead and create the circle by going to your tool. Then you come over here and add this, this background color, the initial background color we started working with. Then you just use it to cover this hole okay so thank you then i think for being a part of this class okay so for being for being a part of this class we love you 
right? So okay, it should be the alignment should be center. Then the font we are going to use is still month font. Okay. So month we are going to use month regular. All right. So we have it here. And when we create a kind of shape, just a little shape, then we just have it here at the center here. Okay, it's not too obvious anyway. <laughs> so the next thing we do is to we add okay, we are done actually. So we just enter design by so for this design by the font I'm going to use here is called it's called Billy Ashley. Billy Ashley. Or Billy Ashley, the one is good. Okay, so let's go to font. Billy Ashley. Then designed by I enter your name Chiso Obona. But this is gonna be a left a left alignment, alright? So reduce the size of this one. And bring it here. Okay, let's take it up a bit. Okay, then um, for here, since we don't have anything here, uh, it's not really balanced. Okay, so we have to add maybe a shape there. Dashed lines it should be on white. And create just create anything okay that would do that would do all right okay so we're actually done with the design now but then you can go ahead and add as if you want anyway and I'm not sure if it's if it's gonna work for this I just want to Check it out. Um, design is decision making. Okay, so you try things randomly and see what works better. So that's basically what design is. Decision making. So I'm going to use it a um, a font we call this brush, this dry brush. That's the name of the font. So I just want to use it to create a kind of effect. All right, a kind of effect around this. So gonna be on this color right now okay let me use this color instead if you want to do the same thing I'm doing you can this is the color code this is a gradient so how do we create a gradient if you click on gradient here you click on plus here when you click on plus this is the, the this thing I'm using the gradient pattern I'm using this second one then you click here when you click here this is the color code Okay, so look at the color code so that if you want to copy, you can copy it for this slide. Then for this other slide, this second slide, this is the color code too, in case you want to make use of it. All right, so as it, you just take it here and you can leave it, right? Let go or you reduce your opacity. Will it be okay here or should it be here? Let me see. Okay, I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to just leave it here. Oh, let me use this also. Let me use 3D rotate. Hmm. 
no all right cool 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 nice so thank you let me see as i said design is decision making you can just try things randomly and see what works better okay all right so i've got all that i want now let me see so we can be here yeah exactly exactly i've got what i want now so you can go ahead and save your work by clicking and clicking on save and you save okay so that's basically it